Okay guys, I guys showed you how to get the Boss AM V6 Mod Infection on Black Ops 2, and yes, it was on Xbox 360, but you guys are telling me it doesn't work, it's fake, and stuff like that. So today, we're going to go to Xbox One on Black Ops 2, and I'm going to show you guys that this is not fake. This actually works. And yes, as of right now, I'm on Xbox 360 as of right now. But now, let's go ahead, get Xbox One, drag it out of storage, and show you guys how this works. Let's get over to Xbox One today. Okay guys, we are on Black Ops 2. We are still on Xbox One, as you guys can see. Now, you gotta have Xbox 360 or Xbox One. If you got a PlayStation or PC, this is not gonna work. You gotta have Xbox only. Now that we got that out of the way, go ahead and click Xbox Live. Go down until you see COD TV. Press A. Go down until you see Friend Speed. Press A. Go down until you see Edited Films. Okay. Go all the way to the next page. Okay. Give it time to load up. Okay, go down until you see the boss AM V6 infection. Press A. Do you, do, do you want to go into theater? Press yes. Go ahead, start the film when it's done loading. Stop film and put your controller down. Do not touch it. You can see through my TV that my hands are not touching anything. My controller is down. You just want to sit here and watch this. This is not long, but... I'll show you what to do when this is done. This is about 41 seconds, but just keep watching and I'll show you what to do. Just don't touch your, do not touch your, your controller. Okay, you can see that everything is done. It's not moving now. Go on ahead and press start and end the film. <clears throat> At this point, go on ahead and back out to the lobby. Go on ahead and go down to custom games. Go on ahead and just start the match. It doesn't matter what map you have, just go ahead and start it, okay? Go ahead and pick a gun, doesn't matter what gun you got. As you can see, everything's popping up, and at the top of the screen it says this. So at this point, let me show you guys what you gotta do. Once you're in the game, what you wanna do is you just wanna hold LT and press this. This opens up the mod menu, and as you can see, you use the D-pad to control the mod menu right here, as you can see how you access it. Say if you want to go into the lobby menu, press A. And you can and you can see everything that I am seeing. So if I want to do super speed, you just press A. And now if I want to run, you can see that I'm way faster going around the map. If you want to exit out, press X. If you want to turn something off, press A again. And, the, and you can see that turned everything off. So if now if I go to run around the map, it's not a super speed. Now, to go online to play this, go on ahead and click lobby menu. Go all the way down until you see first host, okay? Press A to turn that on, and then you end the game, okay? 
keep in mind, it is kind of hard to find a Black Ops 2 match. It will take a while. I have waited about 30 minutes before to actually get into a match with this mod menu. I don't do it no more because I don't want to get banned. I don't, think, I don't think you can get banned on here for doing this anymore, but... Once you get that tone done, you can leave this lobby, go into a public match, and you can go into any kind of match you want to. And you can see Team Deathmatch has 189 players. You can click it. And I don't know if it would be hard to get into a match right now. It could take a while. But it's basically that simple. You just, once you're done doing everything, go into public match, click any kind of match you want to. Pick a map, I'll do random, and that's how you do it, guys. Then when you get into the match, you just remember, you gotta hold LT and knife at the same time. The mod menu is open, use the D-pad to go down, press A to pick something, press A to turn it off, and press X to close out of the menu. It's that simple. Now let me show you guys how to get a Black Ops 2 Zombies mod menu which is kind of different but works the same as it would in multiplayer. Okay guys, we're on the Zombies one, still on Xbox One as you guys can see. Go ahead and click Xbox Live once again. Go into Xbox Live. Go down to COD TV. Go down to friends feed, click edited films, okay. And go ahead and click iconic infect part one. This is one minute and 41 seconds. So just bear with me with this, click A. Do you want to go into theater? Press yes. Oh, I press no, press yes. And go ahead and start the film. Now go ahead and put your controller down. Don't touch nothing. You can see through my hands, and I, I don't have nothing. The the TV screen. So just sit here and watch it with me. And this is and this one is actually more easier because you do get into a lobby on the zombies one way easier than you would multiplayer. So this one you can mess around with people with online. And it's way funnier. But the mod menu is not technically the same. It doesn't have the same features as the multiplayer one would. So, yeah. I'll show you how to use that. What buttons you need to press to use that. And, yeah. The most thing you could probably do on here is probably just annoy some other players that's not trying to mod or, or, or anything. Just trying to play the game right. But you would possibly annoy the crap out of them though. But to you, it'd be pretty funny. <laughs> I used to do it all the time on here. It was pretty practical. Like, I was laughing the entire time. Me and my friend would do this. And... <laughs> we did this, like, the entire time in 2017. And even though this, I got messages saying that I'm going to report you and everything, we never did get reported. It was always funny. So you guys... Should be okay. Just wait for the game to stop moving. It isn't much longer after this. And if you guys don't believe me, my hands are right here. You can see I don't have any, I don't not have any, anything.
Okay, you can see that everything is stopped moving. My hands are still right here. Now go ahead and take your controller, pick it back up, press start in the film. Now go back down to COD TV again. Go back down to Friends Feed. Go back down to Edited Films. And watch Iconic Part 2. This is only 12 seconds. So this one's really easy. Go ahead and start the film. Now put your controller down, either on your lap or on your desk. You can see my hands are right here. I don't have anything, I'm not touching anything. Now, you can see that this is done. It says, now, let's go ruin Black Ops 2. You can see it's not moving anymore. Press Start, in Film. Now, before you can go online, you want to press B. Go into Custom Games. You can pick any zombies map you have on here. It can be the Classic, it can be Nuketown, it can be any kind of map you guys have. For instance, just so you guys believe me, I'm just going to do Transit for... Uh, just go ahead and press Start. But like I said, you guys get into a public match on zombies way easier than you would multiplayer on here. As you can see, you got the mod menu. Now, again, you aim and knife. You get the mod menu. And you can press the D-pad to go down. And what you want to do is go down to game settings. You can press X. And what you want to do is you want to go down and knife to close. Go down to menu. I'm trying to find that thing right here. Oh, I wake up some zombies. Okay, guys, hold up for one second. Any, any, anyone else? Okay. Go ahead and do what I was saying. Go into lobby mods, press X, and go down to first host. Oh, you guys probably can't even see that. Go down to first host, okay. Press A. I mean, press X, I mean, you can see that it's been enabled. It's okay, because we did go down, but we did get the mod menu. Once you enable it, you can go ahead and close out of your game. Now let's go into a public match and let me show you what you got to do. It will say thank you for using Project Iconic. You, you will see that any time you've got this mod menu, any time a game ends, you still got the mod menu with you. Press B, exit, go into a public match. And I'm going to do transit now. And now we need to use this mod menu on some players. Let me show you guys how easy this is to use. There's a mouse in here too. <clears throat> I do kind of want to get it like this so you guys can see it better. You can see we get a player right there. I'm going to go ahead and click ready because I'm just doing this for a video. So... And he does have a mic. Oh, he left. <laughs> but, like I said, it's way easier to find players on this kind of game. It just takes time. So, try to be patient with it. I'm going to go to Nuketown and see if there's anyone playing Nuketown. Public, Nuketown. 14 and 14. Looks like it's pretty full in Nuketown. It takes time to find players on here, doesn't it, guys? Okay, public. Transit's pretty much the easiest map to find because you can always find players in transit. But new times on means that if you're just doing an a animal video, like if you're just playing like a normal game and you're not trying to mod, then obviously you just be patient with it. I'm going to hit and press ready up. 
if this guy right here can press ready, then I can get on with this video. Because again, I'm not trying to cut it. I'm not trying to edit it. I want you guys to see this for yourself. So that's why I'm not trying to... Oh, we got some players on here. That's good. Oh, he's ready. We need one more. We only need one more. Come on, bud. We just need you. Okay, the game is starting. Now, I'm gonna show you guys what we can do. Now, obviously, I'm not gonna do the modding yet until we can get out towards, towards the bus. So, cause obviously that's a good way to get zombies on us. Yep, we got the zombie menu. So, let me go ahead and get this thing done. Just so he doesn't think I'm modding him yet. But we are going to be modding him in just one second. So see how we build it? Did you get the last part to it? Oh yeah, he is building it. Okay, cool, 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 cool. He probably, he probably is going to leave though after, I, after we do this though. Okay, he takes this. I'm going to take this. Place it like right here. And now... What you can see, okay, wait, let, 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 me, let me close that. What you want to do is hold LT and knife. You got your mod menu. Now again, press the D-pad to select one. You want to, I'm going to press X for the teleport menu. I'm going to spawn me at the dino. You can see I'm already here at the dino. If you're going to mess around with him, all you gotta do is go down to players menu, select a player using the D-pad. So for him, I'm gonna teleport him um, with me at the dyno. As you can see he's right here with me. And if you wanna do something like, you can also select the player too, which is pretty funny. Let's do weapons menu. You can do the ray gun mark two. You can also do weapon options. You can also do pack a punch, and you can see that it's pack a punch. You can pick any gun you want to in the weapons menu. You can also mess around with the bus. You can do zombies menu. You can kill all the, all the zombies. You can freeze zombies. You can change the run speed, change the model of the zombie. You can do Pretty much anything that you guys want, you can change the rounds. So let's go to round 255. And basically you'd be dead. Go into poison menu, you can spawn god mode by pressing X. And zombies cannot touch you. Be careful how you use this mod menu in zombies. If you use it, if you're trying to use it to like too much, then it'll kick either players out It'll freeze the console, or it'll just, um, yeah. You can you, you see they cannot touch me. But the chance of this thing freezing and kicking you out, or doing anything like that, is one in a million chances of that doing that, so... You should be good. You can see they're chasing me, they cannot touch me. And yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the game and leave. But... It's that simple, guys. So there you guys have it. That's how you get the boss AMV6 mod infection and the Project Iconic infection for zombies. So if you guys found this video helpful, please make sure and subscribe. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Make sure and like this video. Comment down below if you guys need help. I can help you in any way possible. But with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Put God first. Have a good day. Peace out.